So what RITPAS stand for is actually for counteracting this increase in global temperature. And the main reason for this global warming is the uh, number of greenhouse gases. And carbon dioxide is one of the gas which is a major component of that. And for that they came up with a, a framework which is like for reduction in emission from deforestation and for degradation, which is full form, uh, is abbreviated as that. And the plus stand for uh, increasing the forest cover or biodiversity. If you uh, plant trees or improve the habitat, these trees will absorb this carbon dioxide and assimilate them. So this carbon dioxide is again uh, taken away from the atmosphere and this helps in reducing global warming. Red plus is basically uh, a concept which uh, is a concept of trading where an industry which is polluting or uh, emitting a lot of uh, carbon dioxide can pay or can improve habitat of an area in some other place and can exchange the carbon credit. Many of these areas where forest being burned or forest is degraded is areas where uh, some of the most uh, like poor people live and their livelihood depend on these things. Uh, for example, in Garo Hills, most of the people do jhum cultivation. Jhum is a slash and burn cultivation where they burn a track of forest and they grow their crops there. After a year, they will move on to some other place. <clears throat> so they will again burn a new area and start planting there. This was an age-old practice which is still going on in a number of like remote places, particularly the hilly states of northeastern India. It was a sub subsistence practice uh, some time back, but uh, earlier the Jhum cycle was 20 years or more than 20 years. This was a long time for a track of forest to recover back. But now the Jhum cycle has decreased. In many places it's five years or three years. So the forest or the flora is not able to recover back and people are coming back to the same place to Jhum again. It's something which is reducing the productivity of the land. People are not very happy with it also. But they don't have any alternative. They don't have any other option. On many other villages, like uh, if we can give them uh, some other alternative livelihood like poultry farm or there's a demand for rice mill. So these things will reduce the pressure on the forest. So if they are given some other kind of job which will like fulfill their basic needs, they are happy to work in some other fields.